today we're going to be making scrambled eggs the right way. So, first, we have six eggs, one to two eggs per serving. And what we're going to do is crack on the side of the pan, little tap, open, and crack. That's one. And now we're going to do all six. Make sure you do it in a non-stick pan because it makes it so much creamier when you, and it's easier to turn and whisk them. So, we have the eggs in now. And the important thing is to not beat them and to not season them. Because if you season them, they'll turn runny and before you cook them, they'll turn gray. So, what we're gonna do is put a big piece of butter in because this will make your eggs creamy. So, we got our butter, put our butter in. Now, we're gonna put it on the heat and we're going to Put it on to a relatively There we go. We're gonna whisk the eggs. Once it's on the heat, we're gonna turn it. You gotta do it fast because this takes relatively like three and a half to four minutes max. So you gotta be careful. So we're gonna Turn it and whisk it all around. Make sure the make sure the butter's melted. So this is why we're using a spatula because as if you make eggs before, you can see one third of it has caked on the bottom. So we're using the spatula to lift the eggs off the bottom of the pan and on the sides. Make sure it doesn't stick whatsoever. I'm gonna keep mixing. So, once you got the heat in your pan, you're going to take it off and you're going to keep mixing it. Take it off for 20 seconds and then you're going to put it back on for 90 seconds. You're going to keep doing that process until it thickens up into scrambled eggs. So, on for 90 seconds and then go off for 20 seconds and then keep turning them make sure they do not stick to the pan you do not want them to cake to the pan so make sure keep turning and whisking make sure they don't stick to the bottom or the sides and this will get your portions so much bigger and so much more creamier as you see, it's starting to form here. We have it on for 90 seconds. And we have it off for 20 seconds. And once you take it off the heat, the heat is still in the pan. So once you take it off the stove, that is, it's gonna just keep cooking in the pan because the heat is still in the pan. So even though you don't have it on the heat, it's still gonna keep cooking. So now we're gonna put it back on the heat for 90 seconds. As you can see, it's starting to form into scrambled eggs. And then we take it off for 20 seconds. It's really turning to scrambled eggs here. It's getting even more solidified. So now we take it off the heat for 20 seconds. And this is scrambled eggs. Since it's still cooking in the pan, we can turn the stove off now and just turn it and mix it 
fold it. Make sure. See, now, as, as you look at the bottom of the pan, we do not have any cake on. We do, so, our portions are now much bigger and we don't have all that stuff. So, this is how you make scrambled eggs. So what you're gonna do last, we don't have chives, so we're just not gonna do that. And to stop it from over, over cooking, you can put in a little dash of creme fraiche, but we don't have that, so we're not gonna do that today. So you take your salt and pepper, lightly season it. That should be good. And then you take your pepper and season it. Then you fold in your in ingredients such as chives and cream fresh if you put those in. Make sure you mix it well. And that is how you make scrambled eggs the right way. Now, the most important thing every chef should do, they must taste their food. So, we gotta taste it. Wow, that's really good. It's nice and creamy. It's really good. Now, you at home can make scrambled eggs the right way. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to go check out my Patreon. Link in the description down below. Bye!